this type of opening in my head is just called chaos and it's I'm sitting on the fact that uh, the opponent probably doesn't like chaos but um, we do so I'm hoping fingers crossed that they are a little bit disheveled by the moves and we can get settled let's go here let's take chaos yeah fairly comfortable with this situation Doesn't look like they are ah, because the knight should have been out. Well, not should have. They, it's not saying they're winning anything, but you would have thought that the knight would have come out developing itself. So we might have kind of shook them up a little bit with this absolute chaos type thing. Looks like we don't know what we're doing type of situation. So now this knight's moving. This knight, but again, I think should have moved. We are protecting this pawn here. Is he looking to, he doesn't want to double his pawns or something or the other, but is that going to cause them some sort of devastation in the long run? I'm going to bring the rook here, it's attacking this pawn, it's got no protection on. The bishop is eyeing up this pawn here, so the knight's going to move at some point, so the bishop can get this pawn. So I'm just going to push this pawn up here a little bit. Chaos time, let's just bring the rook here. Try to obliterate and also advance his knight down to attack our bishop. Uh, we don't have to play them at all. Let's just bring the bishop here. Rook's looking to support. It's looking to support here because when this takes or whichever, then it's got the knight and the but we're going to take the knight off the board so there's no two on ones on the pawn. Yep, so that works out quite nicely. So we'll just jump up and attack the bishop. They were plus one out of that um, chaos, and that's what we want. Okay, so he's um, not actually he's moved the piece, kind of lost the tempo, but he's looking for strength from this square here. <clears throat> Have they created a little bit of a situation for themselves? I'm going to take, and I could push the pawn up so that we don't take. If we do take, his knight's getting involved in the game. If we don't take, pawn comes here. It's not too much of an issue, I suppose. Could push the pawn here, but it can just drop down. What's the white square bishop doing? It's not doing the right lot, really. So maybe we could bring the knight here to give the bishop some space. Or we could just go and attack their rook. Rook takes, king takes. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Yeah, let's go with the simple. Let's attack the rook. Not really sure why that took so long to make that move because um, we can come here and attack the pawn, pawn takes, etc, etc, or we can come back here and then we get forked. So we may as well bring the bishop here. Might as well take, do a preemptive on this one. Okay, so it's not actually, it's attacking the knight. I'm not sure that we could go here to go here. Knight takes, bishop takes, situation. Could come here. Again, same type of thing. Which is better? I don't think the bishop will take, so I think it will give us space to attack their knight across here. I think they're going to want to save the bishop. Let's go here.
Okay, so he's attacking, so he's going to make space for his um, pawn coming down here. Let's just take, just take the confusion out. Bishop does take, so the knight can take and just attack. So we're going to have like three pawns tripled up, or bishop can take, whichever. Let's take with the bishop or on the pawn, it's going to come flying down, but the bishop is protecting this square. These pawns are on dark squares, so we need to kind of shift them up a little bit. Because they have a dark square bishop. So I'm going to shift this up. And their king is mobilizing, so... Let's get our king up. Off he goes. Okay, get the king up. Let's hit the pawn. It's probably better taking with the king, isn't it, if he does take. Oh, interesting. So he's not doing that. So if we did take, his king takes. We're not getting into that space. Bishop could come here defending. Or we could just push onto the pawn for it to make a decision. I'm going to push onto the pawn. At least they're on white squares, so that their dark square bishop can't trouble them. So it does drop down, so that does make that a little bit interesting for us. And we can now start looking to, it's going to be a race though, I think they might win. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. So he's going to be there, then he can come around here and go here. So that's going to be a bit of an issue for us. And I can't block this bishop off because he can just take attack his pawn but his pawn drops hmm looks like it could be a draw even though we're two pawns up we can push this pawn just to get it a bit further up give space for our king so I think that's the better movement it's just got sights of him coming here coming around the back how far this pawn can get up, I'm not too sure. Let's move the king. And now we're close enough, we can actually touch onto the bishop with this pawn because we have the support of the king. It's going for it, so let's hit the bishop. It's going to want to keep that line, I suppose. We could come back and just block the pawn and then move the king up, I suppose, with the pawns. Try and squeeze in here, maybe, or push the pawns first. Yeah, push the pawn first, I think, and then bring this up as a backup. Yep, let's just push. I thought his king would have been moving here. Mind you, it couldn't do good because the bishop was blocking. Now it can. Hey, right, what's going on here? So if we push here, staying away from his king and maybe getting the pawn up here, the king up here, sorry. Trying not to allow their king into the game. It's blocked off here at the minute, it's blocked off there at the moment. So it can come around the back here. While we come here. And the only piece that we've got on a dance, yeah, it's gone up. 
It's gone up. We could push, couldn't we? It stops that a little bit. But then he takes the pawn. So we'll just come here and attack their bishop. Supporting the pawn. The bishop goes back or does it attack? It's not got anything to attack on that side. So we could come here again attacking the bishop. Or push the pawn to get it a bit elevated up first. Let's do that first. King's gone up. Now we could go and attack the bishop. Bishop obviously is going to come here, but then we get a fork. Okay, let's do that. Doesn't have to, he can come down here. come there we can put a check on but then his king comes here and then we don't have dark squared protection uh, we could push this one stopping the king from going here king drops here and we go here we're on a dark square this bishop can then put a check on us we go to the white square and the bishop comes here, ready to take the pawn off the board when it queens. Hmm. Not sure I'm a fan of them apples. What about if we squeezed here? Then the king can't come here and we're on a white square. So squeeze there. And this pawn lands on a white square as well. The bishop is going to come here, isn't it? Then, uh, yeah, so we go there, bishop goes there, we push up onto the king for a check, bishop takes, <coughs> pawn takes with a check on the king, okay, that, that'll work, let's go here, yeah, Check on. We can move or let us get promoted, but we're still going to get promoted anyway. We'll work that out. Calculation. Yep. And check. That was very smooth. That was an interesting game. And they resigned. Excellent. Take a look at the analysis on this one. I always like to look at the ones where, you know, it, it felt smooth, but then we find out that it wasn't as smooth as um, we we thought. So let's just have a look and see. So push through. So we went for the chaos factor and just basically take whipping stuff off the board. Uh, still comfortable and happy with the position because we played this chaos type thing on numerous occasions. We're hoping, fingers crossed, the opponent didn't know how to work chaos and were not comfortable being in a chaos state. So they attacked and we attacked again. So again, for me, it's like um, developing the pieces, uh, like the knights. King's still a little bit airy. We can't castle now. They've got the 20-pointer, but we're comfortable with this chaotic um, pattern that we've got and position on the board. So we move the king, so it's now virtually safe. There's nothing much that really can touch it. So king safety is key. We were always in, um, impressing that in, in the back of our heads. And they've castled. So we did mention about them moving the knight, you know, getting the knight out or something more into the game. So we developed our knight. Gage bar is really singing for us at this moment in time. Um, I know it was okay. I, I like the chaos factor, but um, 
usually when I'm doing chaos factor, it's it's more or less the opponents potentially slightly winning, you know, but we always find a, we'll always try and find a way to improve our position going through the game. Okay, so the move to king again. I didn't really know what this move was for. I suppose in a way it was kind of stopping the bishop from taking the pawn because they wanted to move the knight but wouldn't be interested in taking that bit that pawn with the bishop because that would be a bishop a fisher spassky wouldn't it yeah because it'd get trapped so if it did take and then this pawn just drops then where does it go so i think that was a massive waste of a move the king move so we brought the bishop through looking to see if we can double the pawns up and they're not having any of it so they lose a little bit more tempo by moving the knight and not really developing any of the other key pieces and working them together as far as i could see so we bring the rook through attacking the piece that's unprotected and we push the pawn up just um, fly through these now to see if there's any major dips at all okay so that dropped a bit didn't like the bishop move f4 it's saying f oh the pawn attacking the knight interesting times Yes, didn't actually put that in my roller decks at all. A smaller piece attacking the higher piece, that would have been nice. But we've got an x-ray through to his rook as well. So it's, it's however you want to slice it really. We felt comfortable with this position. So the rook moves out of the way. And we take the knight off the board. Does not like that capture at all. It's still showing f4. Yeah, I can understand. That's fine. I missed that one. Yeah, I can live with that. Small piece, second the higher piece. You get tunnel visioned. I got tunnel visioned in the fact I'm just going to take these pieces off the board and look to do a rook exchange. And attacking the bishop. So now it's like even Stevens type thing really. It's only like plus one type thing. So yeah, that small small manoeuvre of the pawn really would have um, solidified a stronger situation. But it felt good for me during the game. So I've got no issues. So we capture, trying to simplify, and look at that drop. <laughs> I had a feeling it felt too smooth. <laughs> look at that. What did we say right at the very beginning as well? Is that when it feels smooth, when I go and look at the evaluation, there's usually something drastically wrong that's gone on. And this is the case in point. But during the game, didn't feel like that felt like I'm just going to go and exchange the rook what what is the issue there's no issue as far as I can see positionally it felt fine to me so they pushed down onto the it's saying c6 what is c6 this pawn this pawn attacking the bishop kind of locking the bishop out of the game in a way isn't it oh and then he gets the fork Oh, and then he gets the fork. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, yeah, that was definitely a missed situation. So it's, it's so good doing evaluation. You know, look at your best game that you've played. You'll probably find loopholes in it where you've made some sort of error. And this is why I love it. So now the bishop is out. In a sense, it's like, to me it's fairly straightforward i'm feeling fairly comfortable with the position the opponent attacks and we grab the pawn and now we're we've got nice three pawns here that should help us get up and it's just a matter of what do they actually do are they going to win some sort of tempo with a fancy pawn move they do have a passer but the bishop is covering the square they've only got a dark square bishop can we get our pieces onto white squares and then we don't have to worry so much about the bishop taking them off. So the king starts moving down. And we did realise that, oh, the, they could win. You know, if they start moving and, you know, working the way towards or even getting to here if this pawn is pushed up and stuff. So that was the panic motion. So we want to get the king up as close as possible to the centre of the board. And at this point, it looked fairly okay for us now. There was a plan set in place that we could actually mobilise and feel strong with the pawns that we've got pushing up. So at that point, yeah, that's fine. Good. It's always good to do evaluation of your games. 